All right. I guess I really don't know how to ask you this. Uh, no, I suppose not. I, I just thought we're together at the camp. Maybe we could talk. No, I, I mean, yes. I mean, I'm a little nervous, sure. Not that this is anything bad or frightening or... Well, yes. Oh, how do I say this? You think it would be easier, but every time I'm around you, I feel as if my head's about to explode. I, I can't think straight. Oh, I don't mean it like that. I mean... Ah, oh, all right, let me start over. Here's the thing. Being near you makes me crazy. But I can't imagine being without you. Not ever. I don't know how to say this another way. I want to spend the night with you, here, in the camp. Maybe this is too fast. I don't know, but I know what I feel. I wanted to wait for the perfect time, the perfect place, but when will it be perfect? If things were, we wouldn't even have met. We sort of stumbled into each other. And despite this being the least perfect time, I still found myself falling for you in between all the fighting and everything else. I really don't want to wait anymore. I've, I've never done this before. You know that. I want it to be with you while we have the chance. In case... Will there? You don't know that. I don't know that. I'd like to be able to say that I threw caution to the wind at least once. I think so. I hope so. You know, according to all the sisters at the monastery, I should have been struck by lightning by now. <laughs> sure. But if you get hit by the lightning afterwards, it hardly seems like an effective deterrent. You do realize the rest of our little party here is going to talk, right? They do that. I won't have to. Morrigan will give me that look. I just know it. You should really kick her ass for me. I'd pay to watch that fight. So, what now? Where do we go from here? Right, I can handle that. I hope. <sighs> Before we go, have I told you that I love you? I did. Well, it won't kill you to hear it again, will it? See? <laughs> Was that so hard? <laughs>